in this video we are going to illustrate how to check the genuinity of the gold biscuit the one which I am holding right now it is 99.5 percentage standard gold biscuit which is available in the banks this one in the market if you see there are a lot many fake items which is available which is similar to this gold biscuit how they make it it is only a silver or any other base metal which may be a gold plated or covered with a gold sheet which is available in the market as I said and with a normal rubbing it may be very difficult to identify the genuinity of the particular biscuit now we are going to show you a different method through which we can easily identify the genuinity how you are going to do it that is purely based on the calculation which is of a very scientific method through which you can identify the genuinity easily this particular methodology is invented by Mr. Satish a president of Global Gold Foundation. Now we are going to see how to do the calculation of this gold biscuit. We are, we are going to use a scale through which we can simply identify the genuinity of it. This particular scale through which I am going to measure the length, breadth and the width of the biscuit. Okay. With, with this we can identify the volume and multiplying that volume with the specific gravity of a gold you know the specific gravity of a gold, right? It is 19.3. With this, we can identify the overall weight of the gold biscuit. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do that. See here, I'm first measuring the length of the gold biscuit. Of course, you can ask me one question. By this particular gold biscuit, you can find there are a different shapes. You can see that the edges, it is of curve. Because of that, you may not get a, a correct length of the biscuit how you are going to identify that is we are going to take an average you are going to take a maximum and the minimum of the length then we are going to take the average and we are going to calculate see here now i am going to measure on measuring the top side of the biscuit i found the length is 4.35 i am going to write it down 4.35 the length of the biscuit on the other side, I'm going to measure now. You can see here. On the other side, I'm measuring it is 4.45. You can see that it is 4.45. Now I'm going to take an average of the length. What is the average of length? It is 4.4. When you divide by 2, you're going to get 4.4. That is the length of the biscuit. Now I'm going to measure the breadth of it. See here I am measuring on the top side, it is measured as 2.35. Okay, I am going to write it down, it is 2.35. Now I am going to measure the bottom side of that. It is measuring as 2.45. So I am going to calculate the average breadth of the biscuit, that is 2.4. Right, now we are going to see the last part of it, that is the height of it. Of course, since it's a rectangle shape, I'm going to just measure the height directly. That is nothing but 0.5 here. Okay, now 0.5 centimeter. Now I'm going to determine the volume. How to determine the volume? It is length into breadth into height. Okay, the formula which I have written is for the weight that is length into breadth into height into specific gravity that will give the weight of it to first get the weight before getting the weight we need to determine the volume volume is nothing but length into breadth into height now you can see the average length what we took is 4.4 into average breadth is 2.4 into height is 0.5 centimeter so when I calculate, I'm going to calculate the volume now. I'm getting 5.28. That is the volume of this biscuit. Now we need to determine the weight of it, right? So I'm going to multiply this volume with specific gravity of gold. What is the specific gravity of gold? It is 19.3. 19.3 grams. So volume into 19.3 grams will give me the result 
so 5.28 into 19.3 that gives me a result of 101.9 grams now you can see the weight of the bar we have determined it is 101.9 gram of course when you see the biscuit it is mentioned as 100 gram you can see there is a, a difference of 1.9 gram here that's the reason we always say there is a, a tolerance limit of 10 see I'm going to measure that I'm going to weigh that okay and I'm going to show you I'm going to weigh this biscuit you can see the measurement see there it becomes 0 now I'm going to weigh that it shows me 99.98 grams okay do you know why you are getting this kind of difference because it is of of course because it is 99.98 is nothing but 100 here almost it touching the 100 gram it is exactly 100 gram okay but of course as I said as per the calculation it reaches 1.1.9 gram it is 101.9 gram just because of the tapered edges here because we have a tolerance of 10 percentage we always give a tolerance of 10 percentage which will accommodate all these kind of variances one is the you can see the scale what we use here that is more important because it is a it's a normal scale which we use to measure it and second thing is the tapered or the curved surface on the biscuit which will definitely have a, a variance of 10 percentage wherein as per our calculation it is very accurate and we have received 1.0 sorry 101.9 gram here okay so this 10 percentage as I said why we need a tolerance of 10 percentage as I said if it is of any other metal okay if it is of a silver or any other base metal I have mentioned here silver copper brass etc these are the base metals through which they generate or manufacture these kind of fake gold biscuits if that is the case you are going to get not more than 55 grams at this volume because the specific gravity of silver or other base metal is half the specific gravity of gold so definitely this particular 10 percentage uh, difference will not make any major variation in our calculation by which we can identify the exact purity or the